All right. Sounds like we can hear everything, so we're gonna start this going again, and I will do. When we're all done, I will delete that other video. So again, we're in Grants Pass. We set up some clouds so we can get a pretty good looking sunset as we get going. And again, we're going to talk to air traffic control. And of course, uh, Grants Pass doesn't have air traffic control. It's a non-controlled airport. But then again, uh, it's not dispatch. We've covered that ground yesterday. Uh, we still go ahead and announce for everybody on a channel that's recognized uh, in a non-controlled environment that we're going to take off. And uh, we're going to do that right now. Apply some power. A few little bit of flaps. Kick off the brakes. And here we go. Go ahead and rotate and we are off and rolling. We're departing to the north, so we're going to wind up turning around and heading back to GP. A little stall warning. We're going to kick back on the power a little bit. head towards Grants Pass. What's pretty funny about Grants Pass, um, if you're not familiar with uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that just came out. Holy cow, those engines are loud. We're going to bring that down just a bit. They use uh, Microsoft's version of well, for lack of a better term, they're comparable app of Bing Maps that you might be familiar with. They take a satellite image, and then they go ahead and try to put buildings on it. Let's get up over here where we could actually see over things. And they actually do pretty good especially when you're up in the air. But uh, we're going to find today where sometimes the technology doesn't quite work. What we'll do is we'll fly around the city for a bit. You can look down and uh, see that they've done it quite well. But there's some things, uh, technology has its limitations. And... We'll definitely try to prove that for you. So we're going to go pop back out so you can get a really good view of Grants Pass. You'll see right off of the uh, nose there we have either, uh, well you have both basically Highland Elementary and North Middle School. Just beyond that track there, you have Gilbert Creek Park. And the buildings that, that they put in are pretty much auto-generated based of, you know, based on the mapping. So we're in the uh, Cessna 182 skyline today. And another neat fi uh, feature about this game is you could actually leave the plane and launch a drone and basically go wherever you want while your plane stays up there in a uh, static area. Just now heading for the downtown area and 
be crossing over 6th and 7th Street. You'll see right off my nose where the Caveman Bridge and the 7th Street Bridge will be. Caveman Bridge does not have the arches. That's just not something they were able to do as we approach the Rogue River. Right down there, right off the nose, you can tell that would be the Bridge Retirement Community. Off of Bridge Street, 5th Street, 6th, 7th. And we're over the Rogue River by Mart. Again, right off of the nose of the airplane. And Highway 199. Ring get right there. And you can see that the uh, horse track and the soccer fields are basically pretty much in the state before Travis Borsma took it over there. There's no AstroTurf on the fields yet, but they uh, pretty much got the concrete laid out. That's very well developed, as you may know. Pretty much right over Redwood Avenue. All Sports Park, of course. And the Rugley Estates and their ponds. Let's get a look at the uh, sunset, how, see how it's developing. Pretty cool. Let me show you yet another feature. We can take the time that we have. Let me make this window just a little bit bigger if I could. And you can't. We can get that sun just about where we want it. Get some beautiful skies. We'll leave it like that for a bit. If we want to keep it pretty, we can always come right, right to it. Sun just now going down. Redwood Park, I believe, right below us. I'm going to go ahead and cut left. Take a little bit more power off the plane, so we're just cruising a bit. Guessing right now we're over the uh, Dow Road and Elk Lane. Right back into our beautiful little town in Grants Pass. Those guides that you see over there are for when we go to land. And everybody knows this that those are there in real place, you know, in real life. No, that's just made for uh, rookie pilots like myself. That's your glide pass to get back into the uh, Grants Pass Airport. So what we're going to do now is we're kind of, you know, kind of pointing out where this game's doing good. But there's going to be some LOL moments that we're also going to try to pick on a little bit too. We're going to go to Grants Pass High School where the fun begins. Off my nose right about now you can see the uh, Parkway Bridge. Depth Spot Bridge. Heading towards the northeast part of town. Little indicator off of my left wing is basically telling you how to get back to the Grants Pass Airport. Okay, so we are approaching Grants Pass High School and at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and break out the little drone feature that we talked about. First, I'm gonna Pause the plane right where we sit, and it'll just sit there and turn and burn. It does not stop time. Time will continue to go, but uh, it'll be right there waiting for us when we come back. So here we are going to the drone now. And we can set the drone speed, and we're Im immediately free and clear of the plane. So here we go. Some of the uh, heights of the buildings are 
quite off. They have no idea when they're taking an overhead satellite image. Uh, we all know that 6th and 7th Street are not each two-way streets. So here we go. Here comes the fun stuff. You can come over here. I'm not going to uh, spoil all the fun until we get there. Grants Pass High School, there's our practice fields. They're not always lit up, but it does look nice. Tennis courts, caveman pool. It's kind of uh, covered up in trees right now. Not exactly what we would call realistic. There is the football field. Here's where the shenanigans. <laughs> So the satellite photo may have been taken while there were shadows. And the grandstands may have been casting shadows. So what we have are basically buildings in the middle of the field. And as you get closer and closer on Northeast A Street, I do believe, oh, we're right on the pavement on A Street. As we come closer here, you actually get inside the building. I don't think I can do it precision enough, but uh, I've got it. Well, here you go. Cavemen. This is inside the uh, buildings that aren't supposed to be here. And the AstroTurf, you, you do know it's an artificially turfed field. It uh, needs a little bit of a mowing. You can get some weeds in there. So, yeah, that's that's where the cavemen are evidently supposed to play football. And if you go inside this building, obviously, you can probably tell that it says Grants Pass in here somewhere. You saw it briefly. There you go. So, that's pretty fun. So, beautiful skies. Of course, we're editing them. And while we are doing the editing let's let's do something else over here take the weather we'll go ahead and go from scattered clouds we'll call it nice and clear there's not a smoke feature you can call that fortunately or unfortunately however you want to look at it although in Los Angeles I believe there is a setting that uh, duplicates smog quite well let's go look at uh, view from Beacon Hill real quick. Fielder behind it. Doesn't look like they have the U.S. Cellular Tower up here. Oh, hi Rogue River. How you doing? Look back over the valley. Now let's go ahead and take this nighttime. Oh, that ain't pretty. It's probably quite possible if you had this view from the top of Beacon Mountain, you could probably see the sun off the Rogue, Rogue River as it uh, goes on like that. They do duplicate terrain levels here quite well. All right, so while we're dropping the sun, let's just go all the way down. Again, you could see Grants Pass High School, the practice fields that aren't normally lit up, lit up quite beautifully. Grants Pass Shopping Center, Freddy's and Wally World, and the I-5 completely illuminated as if it was in a big city. Rogue River Highway, the same thing. And um, I guess this would be Riverside Elementary. So not completely realistic as far as them lighting all of that up, but it does look uh, quite nice indeed anyway. Softball field at Riverside Park. Can't see all the RVs that are down there somewhere. <laughs> South Y by Mart yet again, which it's looking like... Uh, The Mega Deal Center over there looks a little bit different. By Mart. With a different roof pattern than normal. 
I think all, spa all sports park looks like a gym right now. So there you go. The Andrew Littlefield and all those. All right, so there we go. Quick example of what Grants Pass is looking like. What we're going to go do right now is gold land this thing. Get back in our plane. Then we're going to come back over here, unfreeze time, and we're flying again. So we'll just take this bad boy in for a landing and call it a day. So they want me to end, uh, enter the traffic pattern at uh, 2,100 feet. I'm actually going to ignore that traffic pattern. I have a pretty good straight in approach right now. Coming from the east, we're going to go in for a straight in approach. Unfortunately, I can't make that uh, approach guide go away, so we're just going to rough it and go in without any assistance. Add a little flap and begin our descent. The little red markers of the approach indicator, or the aids, if you if you will, they pretty much tell you you're too fast. And of course, oh, they think I'm doing a touch and go. That's not accurate. I'm pitting this bad boy down. Thank you very much. But I was going to say the red is too fast, sometimes too slow and blue is the optimal. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more flap. There we go, they like the speed now. Cutting power, I can't exactly see the center line but I'll tell you straight up. I'm kind of terrible at landing anyway. This is an Xbox controller. I do not have a uh, high quality yoke. So I'm just happy to get it on the runway. If we get the center line, great. But it is what it is. Looks like we're over the runway. I'm going to cut power completely. Get down and give her a flare. And we be down. Alright, so anyway, if you have a Twitch account, go ahead and uh, subscribe. It's basically a brand new channel. If you don't, sign up and give me a follow as well. Would appreciate it. And thanks for watching. We've landed in Grants Pass. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll get off the runway here. Pardon me for not having any landing lights, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and uh, fire off the weather again. And yeah, I know I'm sitting on turf. That's okay. We'll just deal with it. We'll bring her up to uh, sunset or sunrise and see how it looks here in the Merlin area, nice and slowly. That was a little abrupt. That's all, folks.
Thanks for watching. See ya.